Level shoes. Welcome to Kuwait. Welcome to my home. Come with me. What's up everyone? TQ, Kicks TQ on Instagram. Welcome to my sneaker room, aka the gallery. Great to have you here. Thank you for having us, bro. We really appreciate it. You look familiar though. Do I? Yeah. I'm usually in a mask. <laughs> now you're showing the world who you are. I am, I am. 2017, right? You guys are actually here, so welcome back. So back then, everything was scattered in the basement, in the living room, in the kitchen. Now it's finally all in one place with better lighting, bigger ceilings. So great to have you guys back here when it's set up like this. But listen, the main thing, I'm loving what's on your feet. Tell Thank us, you. what are those? AJ3's Fragment Design, one of my favorite shoes. Loved them so much, I tripled up. One, two, three, had to wear them. So rewind back a bunch of years. What did you want to be when you was a child growing up? Being a Michael Jordan fan, I became a very big basketball fan. So I would say I wanted to be an NBA player, but never made it to the pros. So I say this is like maybe a manifestation for all the love and passion I put into the game without making it to the pros. Now I know for a fact a lot of these shoes mean so much to you. But what I really want to know is what pair means the most? What has the most sentimental value here? You've looked straight away at, at, at one place, you, you know already. With no hesitation, I know the exact shoe. I might need the ladder for this. This shoe is very special to me. It's the Air Jordan 5, black metallic. As soon as you asked the question, I knew exactly where I was gonna reach. This is the first pair of Air Jordans I ever bought. Obviously not these, these are 2016. Uh, I must have been around nine, 10, uh, living in Singapore. Okay. And I had begged my mom to buy these for me. And that was just the introduction to number one, sneaker culture, as well as basketball. So this was the shoe that kind of opened the gates to all of this to everything, to everything, everything you see so i wore it to school to birthday parties played basketball in them definitely the shoe now i understand you must be an incredibly busy man with your day job how do you still juggle otb and iota and collecting all of these sneakers definitely time management once you get time management down uh, your life really becomes a lot easier delegation and just trusting in the right people staying passionate so there's so many shoes here and I don't know how you get the time to wear them all, but tell me, what is your most worn pair here? I'm gonna just mention my most worn pair in 2022. The Nike LV, huge drop. My favorite one being the all white, super clean, classic Air Force One. I've seen quite a few sneakerheads who own this shoe who are a little bit scared to wear it out because they're afraid to I guess get it dirty, which is understandable. But what I'm trying to say is I wear my shoes regardless of how much they are or how white they look. I do keep them clean, but wear your kicks. So TQ, everyone knows you as the guy that has so many shoes. Is there a particular pair here that really put you on the map, that really, you know, made you famous, if you like? When I first started Instagram, I would tag a certain shoe or a certain line of shoe and I would tag the bigger sites and they would re-feature me because they were probably looking in and saying, wow, this guy has the entire line. And it would definitely be the Air Yeezys, the Nike ones. For anyone who knows about sneakers, they know how limited this is. All the colorways, the Air Yeezy one, and then the Black Solars, the Platinums, the Red October. So these were the shoes that really put me on the map. And again, beat up Solars. I wear my like, shoes. Like you said earlier. I wear my shoes. So to put you on the spot, out of all of that little line up there, which one's your favorite one? Without a doubt. Ooh, straight away. Without a doubt. Straight away. I wore these everywhere. So what about a pair that you haven't worn yet? This is one, the Air Dior's, Air Jordan 1. I have never worn these, and that's because I have these. <laughs> and every sneakerhead knows the Rock 1, Stock 1. Also, I've never worn these, and that's because I have these to wear. <laughs> and more recently, I never wore these, because I had these. 
rock and stock. What was the hardest pair to get? I would have to say one of them is Red October. Crazy story about these, but there is another shoe that was even more difficult. Unreleased samples, the off-white AJ4. What? How did you manage to get those? They, they haven't even been released. <laughs> What's your most recent? This was on the list of many sneakerheads top sneaker of 2022. It took me a while to find these, as you can see, never worn. The Manier fours, I think Manier did a great job with their collabs. The one, the two, the three, and now the four. So I don't want to remind you, but I want to know which is the most expensive pair that you got here. Many would think maybe the LVs, possibly the Dior's being luxury, but a real sneakerhead would know that an OG 1985 Jordan 1 would cost almost double in the right condition. Now I'll show you these. Very beat up, 1985 Chicago. These babies right in my hand, maybe the cleanest 1985 Chicago's you would see. I'm sure there are more, but this is the cleanest one I could find. Condition's incredible. Wasn't easy finding this pair, but uh, to answer your question, my most valuable shoe. So everyone knows that sneaker culture is going crazy at the moment and it's getting bigger and bigger by the day. What advice would you give to people just starting out and wanting to get into the sneaker culture and start collecting shoes? Basically, I would advise them to not really follow the hype. There's so many stories that go into sneakers that people can really appreciate if they dig deep enough. Follow the guys, the girls who are more about the passion, the love, the stories. Invest in a shoe that's gonna make you feel good about yourself and don't invest in a shoe that everyone is wearing and everyone's talking about and you don't actually like it. Don't look at sneaker culture from a, a shallow level. And yes, don't be about those influencers who are just there for attention. So I'm gonna ask you a question that you're probably not gonna to wanna to like to answer. All of these shoes here, they were all to disappear tomorrow. What would be the one pair that you're gonna miss the most? I am a huge Jordan fan. My favorite shoe of all time, the black and red, red Jordan 1s. 1985, one, two, three. 94, 2001, 2010, 2011, 2013, 2016, all the way up to 2022. If and only if that ever happened, God forbid, I would miss this shoe, the black and red bread. That whole shelf of all of them. Yeah, I would just, you know. <laughs> Hug them all. <laughs> so does that mean that I get to take everything here when you keep that one shelf? Or? No, no, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a question, which I feel I already know the answer to, but I'm going to ask you anyways. So let's say tomorrow, Mike gives you a call and says, hey, TQ, we want you to collab on a shoe with us. Easy answer. The Jordan 1. I think it's very obvious. I'm a Jordan 1 guy. I'm a Jordan 1 historian, scholar. So I would definitely would love to do a Jordan 1 collab. So it's no doubt that your sneaker wall is incredible. Thank what you. I want to know is how many pairs do you have? I've never really counted. I would say it's around 1,500. And what if there's no space to put any additional pairs on? How do you decide what goes up, what comes out? As you can see up here, there's about one shelf left yeah. with a bit over there. But this section itself is just for Jordans. Now you'll see here, I'm literally out of space. So now, yeah. now the floor is being used up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to see where the other shoe room is? <laughs> it's my wife. How do you feel about all my shoes? <laughs> Remember in 2017 when they came? So you see this? We're making more room for more shoes on the top floor. So the next time you guys come, more shoes. Incredible. <laughs> Thank you, Level Shoes. It was a pleasure. Thank you for coming to the shoe gallery. I'll see you in Dubai. Yo, 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 yo. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to huh? take these two? Get out of here, man. Get out. Get out. Get out, get out.